Reverse Caterpie. What's up, YouTube, and what you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to the MLPB week number eight. Eight, I just held up a nine. We're in the second to last week of the regular season. Last week, um, we opened up Sun and Moon Base. Tora Cat was our competitive pick for the second week this season. And for the second week this season, Tora Cat did not show up. We had it in the bag. Tora Cat wouldn't have won it for us. We needed an EX to win, or a GX to win. Uh, but we wound up dropping to two and four. Giving up, giving a first win to somebody, which feels worse um, than anything. But, so we're currently sitting at the second seed um, in our division. Right behind the first place, Palo Piplups, we've already beaten them. So uh, we need to bounce back this week to, prevent, to position ourselves um, in good position to hopefully get the one seed going into the playoffs. Now, <clears throat> announcing today's opponents, I don't have anything negative to say. Today we're facing off against the Claremont Cleffas, coached by good friend Curious Cleffa. And uh, I'm going to tell her, have fun. I certainly hope that you have fun opening up your packs. Now, um... If you don't know, Cleffa and I have streamed together doing TCGO along with Time Woven. Um, we stream together every Wednesday. We do a TCGO community night, and you're welcome to come join that where we can do viewer battles, we do tournaments, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but Cleffa and I also are doing Pokemon Brown as a uh, co-op Nuzlocke, and that's been going on. That happened once, and we'll be doing it again um, Actually, by the time this goes up, I guess last night we will have done uh, another one. And you can certainly check that out. And we might be leading up to another something, but uh, that's about all that's going to be said on that. Now, as I said, we are 4-2. Uh, the Cleffas are also 4-2. So this is against the second and third teams in our division. So this is a very, very, very important battle. Now, to do that, we're going to be opening up, as you can see on the pack cam, we're going to be opening up evolutions which is exciting i love me some evolutions packs i know a lot of people don't like evolutions i am definitely a fan of evolutions i love this set um so it's going to pay off for us and it's going to give us some very good stuff so again cleffa have fun but uh i'm hoping that i wind up having a little more fun than you now if you missed out certainly early earlier in the video you should have seen the card to go to um our last last week's battle where you can check that out uh, but yesterday we did a an Umbreon GX box as I just completely knocked the web the web the pad cam off but anyway um, so we opened up the Umbreon the newish Umbreon GX box uh, you can definitely check that out uh, let's go ahead and pop this out and pop this out I don't think I have this promo, but we have a Fennekin coin, you can see there. Oh, oh, whoa, really camera. There you go. That's a nice Fennekin coin, we'll slide that right back there. And of course the breaks and card. Shoutouts to Pokken. Can't wait to start playing Pokken again, it needs to happen sooner than later, but that's a whole different story. Today we're going to be opening Raichu, Venusaur, and Blastoise, which I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that. Now, before I open this up, I did not forget. You might have thought I forgot, but we are the home team this week, uh, which is great because the last away game that we had did not go our way. And we haven't had competitive picks in a while, but we should bounce back today, I would imagine. I am the king of, of competitive picks. So we have two competitive picks. First up is going to be our boy Charmander because I have to. Charmander's Charizard's my second favorite Pokemon. And, of course... And we're going to pick up Doug Trio. So uh, we haven't used Doug Trio yet this season. Last time we used um, we used Dugong. So we're going to be using Doug Trio today and hoping for some good results. We've got to bounce back. So I certainly hope that uh, Cleffa pulls like a Clefairy or something, a hollow Clefairy. That'd be great. Um, but I'm, I'm, ho I'm hoping not too much more than that. But I guess we'll I guess we'll see how it goes. Okay, also the packs, the codes are facing in a way that I can see them if I do that. So, uh, let's go ahead and get into this. 
Looking for competitive picks this week. Oh, close. Looking for some competitive picks. All right, hold on. Got to get this in the... Ooh, a Seeker Rare, not special, but this is a great pack. Look at this. A, a Seeker Rare, quote-unquote Seeker Rare, a Reverse Hollow DCE, which I'll take that any day, and a Mewtwo. I almost picked that Mewtwo as the competitive pick, but let's go ahead and do this now. How, did I, how do I need to do this to avoid... Oh, well. Spoilers. All right, let me flip this way and then move this out of the way. Then we can go one, two, three, one, two. And we start off our second pack with a competitive pick. So we are back in the competitive picks. One point. Let's go. One point hype. Fire energy for our one point hype. There should be another point. It should be like ten points. All right, come on, come on, come on. Reverse Charmander. That's another point. And a hollow Mew. I... The thought just went through my head that I should have picked Mew. Being that Mew is my favorite Pokemon. But I don't normally pick hollows. So wait, whoa, 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 hold on. Put these in the wrong spot. All right. One pack to go. And we're sitting at... What is that? That's five points, isn't it? Because that's a hollow rare. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hollow rare, that's two points. Excuse me. I was, I was assuming, I was thinking as if it was a competitive pick. So we're sitting at... Four points right now, which is not what we had last week. Spoilers if you haven't seen that, but... Alright, let's get some more competitive picks. Let's get some more competitive picks. There's another competitive pick. That's why I picked Charmander. Charmander never lets us down. Charmander never lets us down. Charmander never lets us down. Reverse Caterpie. Okay, all right, all right, that's, that's a way, that's how you come back. Hold on, I lost my headphones. <clears throat> this was the best blister I think that I've ever opened. With a hollow Charizard as our final card. Cleffa, if you manage to beat me, don't talk to me. Just don't, just don't talk to me. All right, so ch <laughs> check this out, check this out. Charmander, one point. Charmander, one point. Reverse Charmander, also one point. Mew, two points. Charizard, two points. Insane. So wait, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a seven point blister. Do I think Cleffa can beat me? Absolutely. I certainly, like I said, I hope she has fun, but... This is a this is the best blister that I've ever opened, um, and that's super 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 exciting. Um, wow, wow. Um, so, if you're from my channel, you gotta go check out Cleffa. You have to. You have to. If you watch this video and you're from my channel, you better be clicking on this link once it's done. I expect you to be over there supporting my friend. I expect you to. If you're from Cleffa's channel, welcome. I meant to say this earlier, but I got wrapped up in stuff. Welcome. Thank you so much for checking me out. If you're from her channel, you probably already know who, who I am because her and I do a lot of stuff together. But make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see a whole lot more. If this got you hyped as it did for me, go and hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. I'm going to say it again. Subscribe if you're new. And we will see you next week where we're taking on the commissioner and we're going to floor him and we're going to get this number one seed back to go into the playoffs. We will see you then. Until then, have a blessed day.